planning how I'm gonna be a YouTuber and be an A-level student and keep a mental sane mind all at the same time. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a vlog because some of you that were saying that um, you want to see more like vlogs and like day in the life on my channel. So I thought I would just do a little vlog while I'm on my half term, but like not for the week, only for like two days. Today's already Friday and I go back to school Monday, but I'm going to be vlogging today and tomorrow because the rest of my week has been uninteresting. So I thought there's no point in vlogging when I'm not doing anything. But um, yeah, I hope y'all are doing well. I'm doing good. Basically, let me just give you like a little rundown of the next few days next couple days to be honest so today i'm going out for my friend's birthday we're going to a restaurant in canary wharf you lot will see or whatever and also i'm going to do some studying because even though i go out i still try and study every single day especially for half term for this half term i was so excited just to study because like i just wanted to like make sure that i can have time to just revise everything and solidify my knowledge on everything that i've learned from september till now i'm not gonna lie it's stressing me out because i have this standard that I need to meet. I'm trying to go over every single thing I've learned in all three of my subjects from September till now before school starts again on Monday because like I want to like how do I word this? I want to like solidify the knowledge I already have and kind of like lock it away so that I can like add more knowledge on top of it when I go back to school. Like, I don't want to go back to school and be learning more content when I'm not like a hundred percent on the content we've already learned. It reduced the likelihood of me getting too overwhelmed by these A-levels because I know it's a lot of content so I'm trying to make sure that like as I go along I am understanding everything instead of leaving things un, un unattended to. Leaving things unsolidified i don't know if that's a word but anyways that's what i've been trying to do this half term but obviously today um i'm not going to be able to revise all day like how i normally would because obviously i'm going out at like three o'clock and i have to start getting ready at like 1 30. it's 9 30 right now so yeah i'm going to start revision at 11 instead of 12. normally i'll start from 12 to around well i say it's 12 to 5 but i always end up going from like 12 to like 6 or 7 because i always get overboard with my revision because i need to start learning how to get my timings right because i'll say that i'll spend two hours on a subject and I end up spending three hours in it so I need to start being quicker with my revision but I'm definitely starting at 11 um until like 1 30 um but yeah I'm just gonna go get me some some breakfast or whatever my mom's not here she just went to work literally like five minutes ago but yeah I'll show you lot some um footage of me revising because I don't think I've ever like actually shown you lot like live in action me revising i normally just talk about how i revise instead of actually showing it oh and then i forgot to about tomorrow and then tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow i'm also going to be revising but i'm also getting my eyelashes done i've been having eyelash extensions since school started but then i got them taken off like last week to have a week break off them and then on saturday i'm getting them redone for school because it's just really convenient to have eyelash extensions because i don't have to worry about gluing on no fake eyelashes and it feels like my getting ready process is quicker when i don't have to do my eyelashes it's like all i have to do is get dressed you know because my wig is always really glued on i'm gonna get me some breakfast or whatever for breakfast i'm just having some baked beans frankfurters and a toasted bagel that looks burnt yeah but it's actually not bad and a cup of tea this doesn't really look very um aesthetically pleasing but it tastes good and that's all i care about okay <laughs> guys normally when i'm um eating breakfast i'll be watching netflix i was actually watching this over the past few days i first watched this the haunting of blind man and that was so good you guys should watch that this one came out first for some reason i watched it second but i literally just finished this last night and again recommended everyone should go watch it now that i've finished it i don't really have nothing to watch on netflix i might go back to watching suits i keep on starting it and not finishing it but for now i didn't get to finish watching adiola's birthday vlog yesterday i started watching it and i've only gotten through 16 minutes 16 minutes of it oh who's that who is this sorry who is she that is natanya hines if you still haven't watched this vlog make sure you go watch it it's just casually on the side of my screen that's what it's like now you know it's so weird now how i can be watching someone else's video and i can just see my face on the recommended like what that is so cool but yeah make sure you look go watch that vlog if you haven't watched it already but yeah i'm just gonna eat my breakfast now what time is it i've got like an hour and 10 minutes before i have to start revising and i want everybody to do a cheers to adiola patron <laughs>
Okay hey guys, the lighting is a bit mad and I'm wearing glasses now because obviously I haven't got contact anything so I can't see. But yeah, it's 10.30 now and I did say I was going to start revising at 11 but like I finished my breakfast and I just had nothing to do so I was like I might as well just start now. I've just set out my table. I actually revise in my living room because I don't know, I just find it a better environment. Got all my stuff laid out. I'm going to be revising sociology for these next three hours. With economics, I've finished revising all of microeconomics and with psychology, I've finished revising two out of the three topics we've learned. I've finished social influence and research methods. I only need to revise psychopathology. But with sociology, I've literally only revised one section of one half. So I just want to spend these three hours doing sociology. I have a timetable on my laptop that I've written up. Um, I planned out the whole week. We're on Friday and it says to prepare to-do list for sociology and psychology. What I do is I normally plan out what I need to achieve in that revision session. So like yesterday, I said that I need to revise all of research methods and do all of my research methods homework. And then obviously I can tick it off to say that I've done it. And then anything I didn't do, I'll write at the bottom saying I didn't do it. So the next session I know to carry on from there and then for friday today i've set for myself that i need to revise all of my flashcards for all of the theorists and do one paragraph of my homework and then i give myself some extras to do if i have time and then i'll also set out the timings which i hardly ever stick to but i'm trying to start sticking to my timings so i'm spending an hour and 15 minutes on revising my flashcards 40 minutes on doing um, my homework and an hour doing the extra stuff if i have time to do it i actually found a new way of revising my flashcards and i'm going to show you a lot now okay so basically um you see how these flashcards cards are like so thick that can be like overwhelming if you get what I mean like you don't want to like look at your flashcards and think oh my gosh that's so much work so what I've started to do is like divide it up into like different subsections okay so as you can see I've just split it up into three separate piles so instead of it being in one big pile I've like separated it into smaller mini piles and that also like subdivides my um knowledge into different sections um and then yeah so I'm gonna work my way through all three of these flashcards and then I'll move on to what else I have to do for today. Look at my nails though. They look different on camera. I don't know why. They cute or whatever. I'm slowly becoming a nails person. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Functionalism overview. Functionalist, functionalism is a um, consensus theory and um, is the idea that society is a system of interdependent parts that has a shared culture, um, norms and values. Um, it is an agreement of, of what um, values are important in society. Each part performs a function that helps maintain society and helps meet its needs. Each part performs a function that helps maintain society and help its needs. Okay, so functionalism is a consensus theory. Um, it argues that society is a system of interdependent parts held together by a shared culture and norms and values. Um, it is an agreement of what um, values in society are important. And why am I so hot? And um, what was the last thing? And each part performs a function that helps maintain society and helps meet its needs. Each part performs a function that helps society meet its needs. Each part performs a function that helps maintain society and help meet its needs. Okay, so functionalism is a consensus theory. It is argues that society is a system of interdependent parts held together by a shared culture and norms and values. It is an agreement about what society, what um, values in society are inform important, and um, it argues that each part of society performs a function that helps maintain society and helps meet its needs. Everybody say yeah. Yes, good. I worked for it and I got it. <laughs> for about two hours now out of the three piles of flashcards i've gotten through two of them i am on the last pile of flashcards and can you see how long it takes me just to learn flashcards and it's not even about learning it's just about going through them oh flower and i'm actually tired not gonna lie but um i'm gonna do this last pile of flashcards and then i'm gonna move on to learning about educational policy in um sociology but yeah i'm tired i'm taking a little two minute break to talk to you guys and i have nothing to even say <laughs> But guys, basically, yeah, this vlog. Wow, my lips so dry, man. I see it every day, dry lips. 
child. Anyways, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, this vlog, I'm actually gonna attempt to edit it myself. I don't know if you know, but my mum got me a MacBook for, for school and for also um, YouTube so I can start editing my own videos because as you guys know, I don't edit my videos. I don't know if you sort of knew that, but I don't edit them. My mum edits all my videos, hence why I am not as consistent as I would want to be because obviously my mum has her own YouTube channel so she has to edit both of our videos. So. In order to um, make myself more consistent and make myself post more frequently for you guys, I'm gonna try and start learning to edit myself, but right? like start with the basics, like start with just iMovie or something. But yeah, it's gonna be kind of hard to try and incorporate editing into my time schedule because I spend a lot of time revising and especially on school days, it's like I'm at school from 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. and then by the time I get home, I don't start revising until like, let's say five. And then by the time I finish revising, like the day is over. So it's like, how am I gonna fit in revision and like relaxation time all in that? But yeah, I need to start planning how I'm gonna be a YouTuber and be an A-level student and keep a mental sane mind all at the same time because I'm not trying to lose my mind in this whole education and YouTube thing. Like it's gonna be hard, it's going to be stressful, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm going to work on my channel, do well for myself and get my good grades and get my good qualifications and go to uni okay period so yeah i'm gonna go back to revision now it's been about three minutes that's my three minutes break and then after i finish revising i'm gonna start getting ready okay guys i finally finished see the glasses all I'm getting ready now to um go out like i told you so um i'm going canary wolf with my best friend jazz i'm just gonna get in the shower glue my eyelashes on i've already glued my wig on from last night because i don't know about you but yeah i'm the type of person i 100 000 yeah prefer to glue my wig on from the day before like i don't like gluing my wig on on the day that i'm going out like even if it's for school i don't glue my wig on on the morning of school like no like i prefer to just wake up and feel like i don't have a lot of stuff to do all i have to do is get dressed and maybe straighten or curl my hair like it just feels better when there's less things to do so i'd love to wake up and already be ready that would be perfect but yeah um i just came out of the shower look at my skin beautiful yeah i'm gonna do my eyelashes now and i've already gotten dressed but like i can't really show you my outfit right now i'll show you in the mirror should i show you now I'll show you when I get ready. I'll show you when I get ready. But yeah, you can just chill here. I'm gonna be vibing to my music. I would normally play the music out loud. I use a speaker when I'm getting ready sometimes. But obviously, copyright, so I'm having to use my AirPods. But you can just vibe in silence with me. <laughs> So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue me on some eyelashes. Guys, these are my eyelashes. Like, this is Natanya's eyelashes, okay? These are the only eyelashes I wear. I love most wanted, the gimme gimme version. They're like 12 pounds, I think. Or 12 pounds 95, something like that. By the way, it's 2.30, so I currently have 30 minutes to get ready. Ciao. Does anyone else have two playlists? I have like one playlist full of like just normal songs in it, and another playlist full of like my Janae Aiko, my Summer Walker. I don't know what playlist I'm trying to listen to today. I feel like I'm going to listen to my, my normal playlist. Yeah. Paranoia, I have some thoughts in my head. Walk in the club with two straps when I wound. Back. Oh, hello everyone. Wait, let me introduce <laughs> myself. I wonder what to say hi to my vlog. Hi, this is me. Oh, shut my up! Birthday, you mean my birthday's in three days. Come on, come on. His birthday's on Monday. Um, that's why we're going out today. That's my best friend. Hi. <laughs> Some awkward guy. Anywho, guys, I'm loving my hair. I'm sorry, but my hair looks cute. Look how bone straight it is. Look at your hair. Look at the, look at the fresh trim. Come you know when boys get a trim, yeah, and then all of a sudden, oh, look at my trim. Ooh. <sighs> Oh my days. This is my outfit. I'm wearing this um, corset kind of top and I'm wearing these trousers with like the flare leg at the bottom and these trousers are from Topshop and this top is from Pretty Little Thing. This is a jacket I'm wearing. I got it like literally the other day. It's a cute jacket or whatever and it's got a hood at the back. I'm the type of person, yeah, I always have my hood up like all the time. If you saw ever see me in real life, majority of the time I will have my hood up because that's just how I am. This is so cute. I love this jacket. Anyways. We need to book the cab, and the lighting is really nice here. 
Manora's in the back. Oh yeah, also I'm not vlogging on my phone. I mean, I'm not vlogging on the camera when we leave. I'm gonna use my phone because I'm too shy to be going outside with a camera and be vlogging and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be vlogging on my phone. Yeah. Guys, we're walking to the boat. Whoa. I don't think we're gonna make it because it's literally like 20 something past and the boat left at 15 past. Don't really know why we're still walking there, but <laughs> we have to get a cab back to Canary Wharf. That's where our actual reservation is. Basically, we just gave up on trying to get to the boat. So we're just gonna go on the Emirates instead because it takes us across the river to Canary Wharf. So we're just gonna go on the Emirates instead. I was struggling of what to order, but I've ordered ribs and chips and a mojito. Bella. Guys, I have a habit of burping really loud in public because I forget that I'm in public. My mojito came, but it had something inside it, so I asked to get it returned to get a new one. But she hasn't even come back with my new drink, and it's been ages. So, and my food is here. My food is getting cold. on the emirates because i don't know tonight is a vibe i never normally go out in the night time night life is actually really nice in london i might say but i'm still scared though because dangerous but yeah we're going on the emirates again because why not and plus on the other side of the river it's actually cheaper to get a cab home than on the north greenwich side so yeah. Good morning guys. It's the next day, Saturday today. I should even vlog like me eating breakfast like how I did yesterday and stuff, but I ate Cocoa Pop. It is almost 11 o'clock and like I said yesterday, I start revising at 11 or 12, depending on if I'm going out. But because I'm going to get my eyelashes done, I'm definitely starting at 11 today. Okay, quick story time. You sort of know I love Jordans, innit? I love Jordan ones. And um, these Jordans were dropping today and oh my gosh, they are so nice. I'll just show you on here. But why are they so nice? I don't understand. Okay, I'm going to show you that, yeah. And some of you that might think it's not even that nice. But to me, they are beautiful. Look at these Jordans. Look at these Jordans. Why? Why are they so nice? Why are they so nice? Why are they so nice? And the thing is, yeah, normally when Jordans come out, I just want to buy it. But I kind of like keep composure because I think, oh, do I have shoes that look like that? If I do, I won't buy it. These, I don't have no Jordans that are navy blue like this. I, I don't know if um, the camera picked up the colour of it, but they're navy blue, like a really dark navy blue. So I don't have no Jordans like that. So I was thinking, I want that, like, the hell? Two days ago, I entered a whole bunch of raffles, and then it actually dropped, like, for real on the Nike sneakers app today and obviously I didn't get to buy them they sold out and the thing is yeah they dropped at 8 a.m. when I when I bought them or when I tried to buy them and I got entered into the queue it was still 8 a.m. like I done it within like literally 15 seconds like it was that quick and it was still sold out like, I don't understand and my lips look so drab but just ignore that just ignore that why did it actually look so drab okay this is unacceptable I'll be right back so yeah, they dropped today and I literally bought it within the first few seconds that it came out and it was still sold out. I don't understand why. I think my size is popular, but it's sold out. Like, you know how Jordans are, like they sell out within like the first couple minutes that they're dropped. Like they're that popular. But anyways, um, I'm still relying on the raffles that I entered. One of them, the results came out yesterday and I didn't get it. And all the other ones, the results come out today. And then also Foot Locker, they drop on Foot Locker on the 5th of November, but like, it is literally, there's no point even trying to buy Jordans on Foot Locker because it just never works. Like, 
their system of the way they let people buy shoes that are just released is just so trash like the whole website crashes you have to go in a queue to get into the website and by the time you get into the website the Jordans are gone like the hell on the app they have the option for you to reserve it be selected to reserve it and then you go into London to Oxford Street in Nike Town and you get it in the store but then obviously like not everyone can reserve it so even though you enter your name to be reserved they still have to select you so it's still kind of like a raffle anyway but I entered that in Foot Locker I entered other raffles and I just hope I get them because I'm trying to restrain myself from buying it for resale price because all the other Jordans I have I bought them for resale price so this time I'm not trying to spend that much money it's either I get it for retail price or I don't get it at all and I really want them because they're really nice I would even be surprised if I end up buying it for resale price anyway because I really like them like I think they're so nice <laughs> but anyways yeah so I woke up this morning at 8 a.m just to not get the trainers that I wanted my eyelash appointment today was supposed to be at 4 30 but she messaged me saying that she needs it to be early or something like that and so now it's at 2 15 and then also I have some contact lenses that I need to pick up from Specsavers I got a new prescription because my eyes are getting worse yes i went down in my prescription so i have to pick up the lenses with the new prescription but yeah that's about it i'm gonna start revising in like five minutes i'm focusing on sociology again today i hope i finish it pretty little thing are offering to send me some stuff and i'm kind of feeling like flared stuff now like flared jeans flared trousers like yesterday i wore flared trousers so i'm just looking in the jeans section to try to get me some flared jeans because i just know i feel like it just looks nice on my body type i'm gonna stop doing this now i need to start revising it's 57 and i need to start revising at 11 o'clock on the dot so that's what i'm gonna do. Mom, say hi to my vlog. Girl, Come say hi. Girl, bye. I forgot to say yesterday, you are always like asking me um, to give you like, videos on how I revised for like my different GCSE subjects. I did do the science one, but obviously I haven't done history and maths and all the other subjects that you like, wanted. But I just wanted to say that basically, I literally do the same revision technique for everything. Every GCSE subject, every A-level subject too, I do the same thing. So like that's the reason why I haven't like been uploading videos for each subject because it would literally be the same like advice because I do the same revision techniques for all of my subjects. So um, for those of you who are asking me, how do you revise for history? How do you revise for your A-levels? How do you do the little? It's the same thing. Flashcards, mind maps, practice questions and videos or like websites like Seneca or YouTube videos like literally that's it if you didn't watch my science video then you can go and watch it if you need like help on how to revise because the science video basically outlines everything that I'm saying now like all the stuff that I do to revise I explained it all in depth in my science video even though it was a GCSE subject I do the same methods for A-levels and it hasn't been a problem so far like I thought that I would have to do like a different type of revision technique for A-levels because it's like harder and more content but so far I've literally been doing my same revision techniques flashcards and everything if you're an a-level student most of the time you'd need a textbook for gcse i didn't use no textbooks at all so i don't think it's that necessary in gcse but for a-levels um the textbook will be your best friend guys so i finished doing the revision that i'm going to do for now because it is 1 30 and i need to get ready to go to my lash tech appointment i need to still get in the shower and like get dressed i'm actually gonna leave my hair like this i look like a child but i'm leaving it like this because i sleep with my hair like this what's the point of taking it out when i'm not going anywhere like i'm well i'm going somewhere but like i'm not going out out like i'm gonna look exactly how i look now so i'm gonna go there with my hair like this I'm vlogging on my phone while i'm out because obviously like i said yesterday i am not bringing this camera outside with me also i'm gonna go spec savers it's raining outside and i love it i actually love it when it rains but i don't think it's raining enough for me to bring an umbrella 
I like it when it's raining and then I can have an umbrella so that I'm dry, but then like it's raining. Like I like it when it's raining, but as long as I don't get wet, that's it. It is raining enough for me to use an umbrella. We love umbrellas. <laughs> Guys, I got so scared. Basically, I was walking to the cash machine and this man was walking in front of me, but then when he, he looked back and saw me and then he stopped walking, and then I walked past him and as soon as I walked past him, he started walking again. And I was like, oh my gosh, this man's following me. And I put my glasses on so that I can see what's going on. And then he was just very moving weird and I was scared. Like, I thought he was going to attack me or something. Like, I, was, I was praying. I was so scared, you don't understand. I kind of got a chance to start walking behind him again instead of in front of him. And then like, um, when I got close to the cash machine, he was like, oh, excuse me, um, do you know what the time is? And I was like, oh, it's quarter to two. And he was like, okay, thanks, sorry for bothering you. And he just walked off and I was like, thank the Lord. Like, I thought this guy was gonna kidnap me or something. I'm waiting for the bus now to go to my lash check. Okay, so I just got my eyelashes did or whatever. <laughs> Basically guys, I normally get, um, oh my gosh, why is my head? Okay, my head is gonna blow. I normally get um, Russian eyelashes. I don't know if you don't know what that is, but I normally get Russian, which is like the, one of the most fullest ones. This time I decided to get um, hybrids because I wanted it to be more like more natural. And I'm definitely glad I did because even my lash tech was saying that these look better on me than um, Russians. Cause like Russians were like a bit too like full and like thick. And I don't really like that. But these are more like, they're more like my strip eyelashes. It's three o'clock now, so that only took like 45 minutes, which is good. I'm gonna go spec service to pick up my contact lenses because I got a text saying that it's at the store and I could pick it up. Yeah. I'll see you guys later, I guess. <laughs> guys, I've come home now from my little trip to get my eyelashes did. I don't know why it looks so dark on camera, but do you want to focus? Okay, anyways, that's my eyelashes it. <laughs> I'm going to end this vlog here because all I'm doing for the rest of the day is just revising. All I'm doing tomorrow is revising. That is it. I'm coming right back to where I left off. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. A little day in the life of Natanya Hines. If you still enjoy videos like this, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try and like do some more daily vlogs. I'm just gonna go do me some studying because I'm a study freak or whatever, but yeah. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, mm -hmm.